I wonder if you've ever asked the question, how can I find peace? There are three places where we really need to find this peace. Firstly, there's with other people around us. I wonder if you agree with a man called Job who was in the Bible, as he said, man was born to trouble as the sparks fly upward. Maybe you're in arguments with your spouse and it's all night and all day. Maybe you've got tension with colleagues at work, maybe rows with the neighbours, and you just want peace with other people in your relationships. Secondly, we need peace with ourselves. Have you ever been lying on your bed and just drifting off to sleep and suddenly your conscience has come into action and you're suddenly awake and reliving the events of the day where you thought you did well, your conscience tells you of the shameful thoughts you were having? We need peace from a guilty conscience. We also need peace, thirdly, with God. Did you know that the Bible says you and I are naturally at war with God? That we have lived in sinful ways, in selfish ways, where we've lived without reference to him. And any time we have given him references, when often our lives are going badly and we've taken our fists and we've shook them in his direction. Well, what's the answer? The answer is found in a person. That person is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came into the world to give us peace. Firstly, to bring us peace by living a life we haven't lived. Jesus always pleased God. There was never a time when Jesus Christ and God were in conflict. And yet that wasn't the only reason Jesus came. It wasn't the only way he came to bring us peace. Jesus came to die one of the most gruesome deaths in history, to die on the cross. And yet the worst part about Jesus' death wasn't the physical sufferings. The worst part about Jesus' death on the cross was when he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus, who always lived to please God and always did please God, was abandoned by God. One eyewitness, a man called Peter, wrote as an old man, Christ suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that's the good for the bad, that he might bring you to God. Jesus at the cross came to bring you and I, people who have done wrong before God, into a right relationship with him. And he does that when we come and we put our faith in what Jesus has done on the cross and we ask him to forgive us our sins and to be our saviour. And when we do that, Jesus declares us justified. That means he declares us not guilty. He takes away that guilty conscience and replaces it with a clean conscience. He also puts his spirit in us. So where we've been at war with other people, you know, it's not always been their fault. Sometimes it's been my fault. Sometimes it's been your fault. And while Jesus puts his spirit in us to change us, to make us new people. And one part of the Bible says this, that the fruit of the spirit who lives in every Christian is love, joy and peace. By the power of Jesus Christ making us different people, we can have peace with others as he transforms us into being peacemakers. I wonder... Do you have peace with God through faith in Jesus Christ? Do you have peace with yourself through a conscience that has been stained with guilt, being washed clean? And do you have peace with others because Jesus has given you power to live a new life?